Hey, we back in it again. How you doing? Welcome to our show. How was your day? I'm your host, Grumpy Drew. Always tired. Ten line. I'm always accompanied by the two homies, GQ Nesto, Charlie Mack, CEO. How y'all doing today? Doing well. Good, brother. I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. Hey, y'all know what outsourcing is? When a company, say, for instance, you have a product and you outsource your product. Y'all know what that is? Of course. All right. Then that brings me kind of segue into what what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about this show, right? But before I get into the actual show, let me give you a little bit of information. So we spent some time during quarantine, and we figured that we have a lot of time on our hands. So for most people, if you're not productive, if you're not in the shop, building something, creating something. You're watching television, right? So the other day, I came across this show. And in this show, this show was about couples. But the difference is is that these couples are most of the times overseas, right? And the show that I'm talking about is 90 Day Fiancé. Have you guys have you guys had a chance to watch this show? Y'all know what I'm talking about. What, what are your thoughts on this show? I kind of hate to admit, but yeah, I watched it. Charlie Mackey, you, you know what I'm talking about. You say you hate to admit it, but your face looks kind of happy right now to be talking about it. I myself, I've only seen a couple episodes when I'm here with you, man. To be honest with you, like when we come over and hang out, that's really the only time I've seen a couple episodes. So when you're at the house, that's the only time. Yeah, when, when I'm at the, when I'm at my own house, I don't really watch 90 Day Fiance. I really don't watch a whole lot of TV. Period. It's only I've only seen a few episodes here when we out here hanging out, swimming, and doing what we do. You know. Okay, so okay, so let me break it down. Okay, so. On this show, you have couples who, because their relationship is outsourced, they get on a plane, they have to fly 24 to 30 hours to meet the love of their life. And hope they cool. And hope that they're cool. That all the filters and all the BS that we have going on our days that make us look beautiful. Am I going to actually get what I think I'm going to get when you step off that plane, right? So my theory or what I've noticed, I'm going to say my theory, but what I've noticed is it's like, okay, like like we was talking earlier. And I'm like, you remember back in the day when you'd be like, yo, Charlie, I met this bad girl, man. And you like, hey, what she like? Would you give her like a seven, seven out of ten? I'm like, nah, bro. She like an eight or a nine. And you be like, yo, show me a pic. And you like, and I'm like, nah, I don't got no pics, but she'll be at the party on Saturday. And you're like, bet, I'll, I'll, I'll check her out then. And you see her. And I'm like, hey, 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 girl, hey, babe, come here, boo, come here, boo. Hey, let me, let me introduce you to the homie. I'm like, hey, see Matt, this is my girl. And you're like, you're trying to keep it real, but you don't want to hurt my feelings. But in your mind, you're like, bro, bro, you could do so much better. So much better. So much better. If not even so much better, I can probably, you probably will say like, bro, you could have met this girl in like Target, Walmart, Arco, AM, PM, wherever you frequent. This is n- there's nothing special about right, this. Just your everyday, everyday Jane, I guess you could say. Everyday scallywag. That's what I call him. Scallywag. Scallywag. Never had that in forever. Has that ever happened to you? Nothing? Nah. I usually try to go to a pumpkin patch. You know, some <laughs> non-threatening, <laughs> non-threatening pumpkin patch. <laughs> the pumpkin patch is the that, pumpkin is that, patch. That's do they the, have? That's do the they have year-round pumpkin patches in San Diego or something? Hey, that's where it's at. You that's know? where it's at, huh? 
right. Christmas trees, you know, anywhere non-threatened. Okay, so what I also notice is there is an extreme case of the dude who I would like to call Willie Lum Lum. Right? Is, that, is that my man, No Neck Ed? He's one of them. He's, he, oh, that's the only he, one I know he, no, is No, no Neck he, Ed or he, Big Ed, whatever they he, call him. He falls into that category, but there's Willie Lump Lump is that also like the AKA Captain Save Him. Gotcha. Right. So there, there is one gentleman on the show to where uh, we're, we're not going to talk about his occupation, but his occupation doesn't bring that much home monthly. Right. So he's barely making ends meet. But what he does receive, he sends over to the girl. The girl he never met? The girl he never met. Never even saw in person? Never even saw in person. I'm going to send this money to this girl. So my thing is, is like, where the homies at? Yo, I wonder if, what if it's a whole operation of girls overseas that like, it's a dude running this behind, kind of like internet pimping, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah, that's that's you know what, what I mean? it is. They, they, they've come out with that. Oh, man. That's, that's what it is. This is our mastermind. And we're about to get these dudes debits and credit cards, and we're about to charge them up. But see that that goes to the intelligence of of, of us males because we're willing to cash out for some shit we ain't even had yet. Nesto, have you ever been Willie Lump Lump? Tell the truth. Nah, never. Nah, you don't think you would ever fall into that category? You've never yeah. cashed out on a female, and at the end of the night, was like, eh, hell nah. Hell nah. You know, I mean, there's levels to this shit. Uh, that's all I got to say. Uh, I think they try to willy lump lump me. <laughs> 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 I stopped that shit real quick. No, no. I man. guess it's different now. It's like back, I mean, me and me and my wife, we've been together for 12 years. So I guess it's different now. I mean, I tell all the time, like, I'm glad we met before the internet, before social media was a thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's just different nowadays like we don't have to go through none of this i mean i wonder do you actually think like when you look at a picture and like say for instance we're dating or i'm trying to get to know you and i see all your pics of course i'm gonna look through your profile the pictures lie nowadays exactly but i know that like you don't even got to filter your pictures no exactly. more you your phones literally have picture presets in them so exactly. you, you straight like so how does that affect your relationship or your or or what you're trying to accomplish your relationship like, is automatically built off of untrustworthiness mistrust mistrust right off the bat because you don't really know like she might look good in her profile pic then y'all meet up at in and out wherever y'all gonna meet for your first date it's not even a might it's not even a might i know mm. that when i see you in person you're not gonna you're not gonna be your profile picture yeah you're not gonna be that and i'm gonna be disappointed because I'm not even into all that filter shit. I don't even to fucking take pictures. That's or, the thing. Like, are, I mean, Nesto, you, you're you single nowadays. Are you into the filter pictures? Like, how does that work for dating? Nah, I got to see them live. Gotta That's see what I got to do. I got I to gotta see them live. That's why you go to the pumpkin patch. My I got to go to the pumpkin patch. Pumpkin you know, patch. I, I got to I gotta make sure that. So you don't go off of like Instagram, Snapchat, no, none of that shit. Nah, you nah. don't see them live? You ain't, you ain't nah, going with man. It. Really? Hey, you got to. Okay. You got to. Look at your probabilities, okay? So if everybody doing social media, right? So think about your probabilities of you pulling something after after this girl got like three hundred DMs, you know? So what are the chances that she's gonna be like, "Hey, what's good?" You know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be. And brought her for tacos. You guys love tacos. I don't know about all that taco shit. Like, everybody right? loves tacos. No, but you know, like. Uh, females be happy to be like, buy me some tacos. <laughs> I mean, like, oh no, because like, I mean, a lot of people like, nowadays. They, like, wouldn't like, that be a wouldn't that be a turn off though if you on your date and all she talking about is how hungry she is? Exactly. I'm like, that's that's like, like, do you have life. a gym membership? Like, are you, are, <laughs> you know, are you going to use that tortillas, you know, to get that, you know, th- that booty or something? I mean, you better tell me what where is this investment going to? You know what I mean. But also, like, real quick though, like, have you have you noticed that a lot of the couples on this show are like middle aged and up? That like, throwing no hail mary. Maybe it's a midlife crisis. A midlife crisis. Maybe. So if you, they're all if they're all middle aged men and middle aged women doing this, maybe it's a midlife crisis. So would you think you're just trying to check the block? Uh, maybe. Is it really worth it? To me, no. I'm not cashing out for nobody I ain't met. You know what I mean? I mean, 
That's his charity or something like that. Like, I don't know. I mean, what we got, we have gentlemen on this show who they've estimated that they've sent upwards to a hundred thousand dollars or more over the span of five years to someone they've never seen face to face. This is combined or per person? Per per, per gentleman. Person. Per gentleman? Per person. I wanna like know what Charlie Mac. I'm like a hundred grand. Where your money going? You like, yo. I love her B. Is where, that a, is that a tax write off? Uh, I doubt it. Maybe they could put it in the entertainment I, budget. I don't I don't think H and R block is right now. Entertainment that budget, bro. It might be a tax write off. So but no, I want to know. The real question for me is real quick, where where are their friends and like family at? Like, bro, why are you sending so much money overseas to somebody you've never even seen in but person? But that's the thing though. That's it. My point like, exactly. They right? might just be sending somebody's kid to college and they don't even know it. No, their 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 daughters, their sons, their family is there. Like, hey, mom, hey, dad, uh, I believe you're getting scammed, and they're just they're blind to it. They're like, no, man, I don't he know. loves me. That's... She loves me. Well, I'm pretty <sighs> sure they said. I said they probably said the same thing about like the thirty cats they got at home. So, <laughs> are, we, I mean, are we talking about the cat lady? Yeah, I mean, hey, you know most of these people are throwing the hail mary and just you know trying to just just f it. I'm yeah, just, gonna, just I'm gonna spend all my money if it work, it work. If not, then that's it. That's it. I mean, that's kind of a they're like you know bring it's an expensive in, uh, lesson, bro. Bring in, bring in Finding Nemo, bring in the cats, bring in the dogs. I mean, they don't give a, you know they don't care anything. But know? why do why do why do we have to go overseas? You don't think why is I the mean it's just, I don't want to say that all of them do that, but like majority of you know them what I think it overseas. is. Remember, like especially for like us, like in our younger teenage days, or like in our younger days when we were dating, we just want to be different. Not that we want. I think it's more of the thrill of the chase. Maybe maybe there is the thrill of the chase. Or I or, mean, it's expensive ta- an expensive chase, but maybe that's what it is. Or the green card. I mean, I'm sure for the people overseas, yeah. But I mean, what did the Americans? I'm assuming everybody's here in America, right? Flying right. overseas. Like, what did the Americans get out of it? The upper hand. How? What do you mean? It's not like it's not like it's not like the foreigners. It's not like the foreigners are paying them. Like, bring me, marry me, bring me to your country for a green card, and I'll cash you out. No, it's the opposite way. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep it simple. Okay, you go out, right? So, when you go out, this is what the girls gonna say. Okay, if you don't come back. At 10, okay? Not 11, not 10 or 1. If you don't come back at 10, I'm going to revoke that green card. I mean, that's powerful if you ask me. I mean, I'll be there at 950 if, if that's the case for yeah, me. Yeah, but at the same time, what are you getting out of it? Because you're the one who cashed out. Like, you're cashing out all the money. Like, they're not giving you nothing in return. I think that power's a lot bigger than So it just to be able to I'll take your green card away? Like, I know I spent 100 grand on you, but I still I'll take your green card away. Like, that just doesn't add up. It's like equivalent to I mean, China. We didn't spend a hundred grand one time. We went out. Remember, we got locked out the house. We won't talk about that. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to talk about that. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, have you ever, you know, because you you're the single one out of out of the the group, the trio here. Have you ever been disappointed on your on a first date? All the time, all the time. It's a numbers game. So why do you? So, so is it about power for you? Nah. It's about. It's about having that co-pilot. You know about I mean? the thrill of the chase, right? No, 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 no. We're, we're, we're talking about the co-pilot. We're talking about if the plane goes down, I want to be able to make sure that the girl's gonna that that's gonna be right next to me. She gonna hold down the plane. That's all, that's all it really comes down to me, at least for me. So, ain't nobody want no 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 chick that's gonna be like, hey, take a picture. of of me in the cliff like no <laughs> like <laughs> you know i want to make sure that we gonna be able to fly through the cliff you know what i mean like I, I i'm not a photographer you know what i mean i think iphone does what it does so <laughs> they don't need me you know iPhone photography so simple as that so you go into it knowing that like yo this chick is not gonna look like her pictures have you ever thought that I never go by the pictures. Well, I remember he said he only goes if he if he only he meets he only meets females in per in person. Yeah, doesn't go off. Of I, I, I wouldn't have to worry about that because I saw her at the pumpkin patch. Oh, that's right, the pumpkin patch, the pumpkin patch. Mm. That, that's is the, that a bar in San Diego or something? 
Nah, man. It's just, it's just, hey, it's you, want, you, you, you wanna, you, you wanna, you, you're trying you, to find that good, pure woman. Is that what it is? You wanna meet her somewhere non threatening. You don't wanna find her at church? Church is non threatening. Oh, they're the devil. The ones in church are the ones Yeah, they're, they're the devil. devil. You know they're the devil. <laughs> <laughs> you know they're the devil. You're the... I've, I've met, I've met religious women out there, and, um, when we scratch out the religion, you know, they scared me. So, you know, for them to scare me, that's a problem. It takes a lot to scare you? It takes a lot to scare me. I mean, oh, you got the name GQ Nesto, bro. Hey, you know, hey, there's levels to this shit. And for a fact, I was ready to go. I was like, Jesus did not you had to allow go this. Immediately this after, you Jesus had to go did repent, not authorize this. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, when you do find yourself in situations like that, you do got the homies that kind of... You know, pull your coattail. Be like, hey, bro, I, I don't think you're making the right decision. Yeah, do you have some, like, people like that in your life, though? I mean, the, the problem is is that my homies and I, we don't have the same taste. So that, that, that can be a little bit complicated sometimes, you know, because they're into something that, you know, they're, they're into the one night stand. I'm into the... Let's wife her up. Let's 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 take her out for dinner. Let's. Oh, let's you so up. so you romance this so though? Oh, the, for you're sure. I'm a classic man. I'm a classic man. You know, I, I'm ready to open her door. You know, I'm ready to do all that thing. You know, you name it. All right, all right, all right. Well, I think I think this right. So, I think at times that we all looking for that that special thing that we say may complete us you know a lot of us feel incomplete why what reasons or i have no idea but when i look at this show i see a lot of desperation and the solutions to their problems can be right in front of their face but yet they go elsewhere and and i think that's a um i think that's a testament to how we are in our everyday lives you know, the solution to our problems is right in front of us, but yet we go elsewhere. And then when we get the solution to our problems, it's it's nothing different. Whether it's foreign, whether it's domestic, whether it's here or whether it's there, it's the same thing. But um, we would like to thank you for your time and this opportunity to speak to you. GQ Nesto, your parting words. Let's stay positive. Let's keep it moving. Every day is a new day for a new beginning. So let's get that going. A new day fiance. Hey, Charlie Mack, CEO, parting words. Parting words. In the words of GQ Nesto. If you want a good girl, you got to go to the pumpkin patch. Stay you positive, do. friends. Get that money. Hey, well, you've heard it from the best in the West. Pumpkin patch is where it is. Not today, fiance, y'all. Check it out. Thank you. Come back again. God bless.